Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developer, we're going to see how to store values in an encrypted format using key value map in Apache Edge. In earlier 4 minute videos, we have seen how to store a simple plain text in key value map pair and retrieve same using key value map policy. For example, if you want to store the same data in an encrypted format like secure uh, credentials or any data that should not be exposed anywhere in Apache Edge. You can do that using key value map policy and whenever a request comes in, you can retrieve the encrypted values using KVM policy. Let's see how to do that in Apache Edge. Let's quickly create an encrypted uh, key value map, go to environments and then click on uh, key value maps. Create a key value map, name it as uh, encrypted uh, store. store one and choose encrypted click on add let's create an entry i will make an entry um, backend uh, underscore password secret save and then create one more entry backend underscore username hello save once these values are stored in the KVM uh, in an encrypted format, if you refresh them, you will no longer see the values of same. As you can see, it is all masked and nobody can access once it is stored in the Apache Edge in an encrypted format. Let's see how to retrieve same and send it to the backend in the runtime. Let's create an API proxy quickly. Go to develop and API proxies. Click on a plus proxy button. So we're going to use our HTTP bin dot uh, the echo services in backend. I'll say proxy name as uh, encrypted uh, demo slash v1 slash kvm underscore encrypted. Use the existing API as HTTP bin dot arc slash get. Click next. Choose authorization as pass through and then choose the defaults. Once it is deployed, let's go to the develop screen and add KVM policy. Go to develop, add KVM policy to the preflow. Remove everything uh, except get. So we're gonna retrieve uh, the username and password. So username. It's a backend underscore username, key name. So all the encrypted values uh, uh, should be retrieved into private variables. So we have to name the variable we are extracting to as private underscore private dot username. So this is the syntax you need to use. Similarly, let's uh, retrieve uh, the password. And uh, we need to specify the map identifier. Encrypted store underscore one. So after retrieving the values, let's uh, add a basic authentication policy to use this uh, uh, private variables to construct an authorization header. So I'm gonna say assign to authorization header and uh, username is private dot username and private dot password. Let's see it in action. Let's save it. Let's go to trace, switch on trace. Let's make the API call. As you can see, there is an authorization header that got constructed. Let's try to decode this authorization header. We should get the hello and secret uh, back. Decode. There you go. Hello and secret. So how did it work? As you can see in the trace, the values are never exposed to either UI or the trace. And uh, we have retrieved the values, uh, the encrypted values using KVL map policy and assigned to the private variables. And then use those variables to construct the authorization editor. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, please post them in the community.apache.com. Thank you.